Sometimes you get lost in the digital world, scrolling TikTok, posting pictures on Instagram, checking every notification to make sure that those photos are getting liked. Our lives are completely built around what we think people will make, uh, people make uh, like us more, but in reality, we don't even like them. <laughs> when I was younger, I was so focused on social media being the thing that made me happy. How many likes did I have on that post? Did anyone read that catchy ca uh, comment or caption? But Instagram followers shouldn't be the scoreboard. It shouldn't be the scoreboard on your worth, on your life, because the world is so much bigger than these social media followers. These are the three things that I separate, that I see that separate those who succeed and those who fail. These three things changed my life. They are curiosity, trying multiple things, and being consistent to the ups and downs of life. I was born in a small town here in Tasmania, up on, up on the northwest coast, in a town called uh, Smithton. Has anyone been to Smithton before? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, you know you have. <laughs> There's more cattle than people down there. When I moved to Launceston, I went to Riverside High School. One of the things I realized growing up here in Launceston is that you naturally end up doing the things that seem the easiest options, the things that everyone else are doing. You know those things that you're told to do, that they're best for you, but you really don't know why, nor explain what the point is? I've always been curious. I've asked questions, I've challenged my teachers, my parents, my friends. I always wanted to be challenged and try new things. I always kept myself open to opportunities that might come my way. In that search for something more and asking questions, I applied for a personalized learning program where I chose entrepreneurship, because who doesn't want to make their own rules and make money on the side? I really didn't know what I was doing until I started. The first business I created was fixing my, uh, my friend's iPhones in my bedroom that I shared with my brother when I was 14. I broke a few on the way though, unfortunately, sorry. <laughs> I chose to do the things that my friends thought I was crazy to do. I had no idea what I was doing. I made mistakes, I broke phones, I lost money, but it taught me the valuable lessons of getting in there and getting things to go and learning by doing. I wasn't that great at school. I struggled to learn from books. I didn't really know what I wanted to do but I constantly tried new things and gave it my all whenever I did. Because life is not about following the rules and going down the path that's already blazed, but blazing the trail that's specific for you. Specific for you in your career, in your personal life, and the adventures and stories you want to tell. And that trail doesn't need to be world changing, but it has to be your trail, one that you create on your own. But sometimes it doesn't all go to plan. You'll hit walls along the way, I've faced my fair share of challenges and walls on the way through as well. Like many of you, I've had moments where I felt lost and unsure of what I wanted to do. At 17, I took the leap of faith and left school to focus on my own business. We supplied sports uniforms in China and sold them to sporting teams in Tasmania. It wasn't an easy decision and I was still uncertain at the time. After six months, I actually realised that business wasn't for me, I wasn't enjoying it. I started to doubt myself and I wondered if I'd made the worst decision by missing out on other opportunities by doing that. But then another path opened up for me. One of my friends told me he started a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency business he was running about six years ago. I took the opportunity and I volunteered my time for two weeks to help him with his business. He needed help with marketing, the website, finance, legal, everything that I'd learned on my journey. This was all a process of leveling up. Leveling up from the knowledge I had gathered, but also in the opportunities I was finding that were ultimately finding me. This made me realise the second part of being successful is to always try new things and try different paths to truly find what you want to do. I always thought I knew what I wanted to do in life. And some of you here are people who love every second of school and know exactly what you want to do moving forward. But some of you may have no idea and might not like school, and that's okay. You don't need to have your plans mapped out. You don't need to have your one year, your five year or your 10 year goals figured out right now. It's okay if you don't. I left that business three years ago and I'm now running my own cryptocurrency company with a team and a company, uh, sorry, a team of customers from all around the world. I can run it right here in Launceston. But I had no idea I'd be doing that at high school when I left Riverside a few years ago. Not everyone is going to figure it out on the first go. In fact, most of you will not figure it out on the first time out of the gate, even if, even if you think you know exactly what you want to do. In fact, I still don't have it figured out. And the reality is some of the parents and teachers here, they might not have figured out, and that's okay. As my dad explained to me from a young age, it's all about another step in the journey. Constantly leveling up, taking things from one stage to another. 
because you never know what might be around the corner. These ups and downs are all a part of the journey I was going on and I still am going on. One of the biggest things I've come to realise is it isn't about the destination, it's about the journey. A journey only you can create. And the last point is that your success hinges on your ability to be consistent, to grind, to hustle, to chase after your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, because no one else is going to do that for you. Looking at others and dreaming about your goals is easy, but facing with obstacles and challenges in life, it can be tempting to give up. But those who keep on going, who continue to work and pursue on their dreams and their passions, when the going gets tough are the ones that are gonna truly succeed. They are the ones we inspire to be, become the role models and we aspire to be like. By showing up and putting in the effort day after day, even when it's difficult, will set you apart and help you achieve your goals. You all have amazing gifts. You all have amazing talents and thoughts in your head that could change the world for the better. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter about your gender or how you identify. It doesn't matter about your background, whether you live in Launceston or Smithton. The world needs you. The world needs your genius. This year I had the opportunity to do a TEDx talk on cryptocurrency. I was super hesitant, I'm an introvert, and I'm new to speaking, if you haven't noticed. I didn't think I could get up on stage and speak in front of a live audience, but I knew it was a huge opportunity for me, so I decided to face my fears and show up. I had all the excuses, I was shy, I didn't have the words, I didn't feel like doing it, but I pushed myself, and I did it anyway. And when I finally took that stage, it went much better than I probably realised. And I did that by consistently showing up and doing the things that made me uncomfortable by overcoming your fears and achieving something that I thought was never possible. When you feel uncomfortable, that's where the growth is. And I've met so many amazing people and along the journey, and I get opportunities like these to speak in front of you all. If you're willing to take that leap and face your fears, you can achieve great things and open yourself up for new opportunities. At the end of the day, it's up to you to make the choices to lead the life that you want to live. You are the author of your own story. You have the power to make it a great one. Remember that anything is possible, no matter where you come from, who you are, what you've done so far. The world is big and there's so much more to life than your bedroom or beyond your school. Know that your dream doesn't have to be world changing to be worth pursuing. It could be as simple as being a good friend or making a positive impact on your family or friendship group. So make your story worth telling and don't be afraid to chase after your dreams, no matter how big or small they seem. The choices you make today or tomorrow will shape your happiness, your path, and your life. It's not about how your past has looked like, what your friends are doing, or even what your parents or others want for you. It's about you. It's about what you want for yourself. The world is waiting for you to make your mark. You have the power to choose your own path and shape your own story. You may make mistakes and face challenges along the way, but remember you are the author of your story. Choose to seek adventure and make your journey one worth telling. Get after it. The journey is just beginning. Thank you.